Welcome to our new section, the Work Permit Application. Introduction. In this section, will we will learn about how to apply for an outside of Canada, how to apply for a work permit inside of Canada, the spousal open work permit, police certificates, how to get your medical exams for immigration purposes, how to do the biometric and the requirement for fingerprinting, the processing time for work permit applications, what to do after you apply and the extensions, and finally, we will learn about the inadmissibility issues while applying for a work permit in Canada. Work permits. Applying for an outside of Canada. Requirements. In order to apply for a work permit outside of Canada, you will need to get all the work permit forms, the document checklist. You will need to use the work permit application guide. The work permit application forms will also need to take into consideration the medical exams for foreign workers. You will need to find a designated medical practitioner in your country of residence. You also will be able to learn how to get the application processing times and how to have your criminal checks or police certificate done for immigration. And now, let's take a look at the guide for applying for a work permit outside of Canada. And here we are at the guide 5487, applying for a work permit outside Canada. That's the web page. And this guide is a very interesting guide that you need to use in learning to apply. Um, basically, you have the table of contents here with an overview, information about before you apply. Then they go to, uh, for every step of the process. Step one, gather documents. Step two, fill out the forms. Step three, pay the fees. Step four, submit the application. And then what happened next? And then after that, you have some links to help if you have any questions. Temporary resident application photograph the specification that you need to consider in order to use the photograph and also an appendix A for sex field on the immigration document. So important information that you need to check. This guy is always available and the link is provided in the lecture. Again, this uh, the guy is not supposed to be a legal document. Again, everything in space has to be referred to the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act and regulations, or the Citizenship Act and regulations is applicable. Okay, so it's just a, docu a document that put everything together in an easy way for users and potential applicants. So if we go to the overview part of the process, uh, it goes through the application package. It tells you that the instruction guide and the form that you need to fill out. The the, impo the important part of the instruction guide is that it will tell you also information that you need to check during the process of filling out your forms in the work permit. They have some symbols that you need to use, that you need to understand when they use during the process. And before you apply, you have information about the definitions of what is work, what is a work permit, the employer compliance uh, regime, and also what is LMIA. Some of those topics we have seen already and also the offices for the employers they can contact the employer portal questions about your new work permit and then you have some links uh, to the reference website where when should you apply and again it gave you the information as we know before we learned before is you need a written job offer or employment contract and an LMIA decision letter for your employer that have been received from ESDC. Also, I ask question about just to confirm if you are eligible, and then if you the list of the things that you need to meet in order to be eligible for a work permit. Other conditions, conditions of the any other conditions on the work permit, and you talk about again if you need a TRV or an ETA, and the process also for a postgraduate work permit. So, he's a good, uh, good guy. He gives you a lot of information. 
and then you go into the definitions so you understand throughout the forms what they're talking to. Again, if you continue scrolling down, you will go to information about biometrics that we will cover later. Step one is every step of, during the process. Step one is gather documents. And you have the checklist in PDF that you can access uh, through the link. Also, how to prove your identity, how to prove your employment in Canada, how to prove a relationship, and other documents. So you're going to need to be reading all the information. If you plan to work in Quebec, then you have the important information about Quebec and also the link to the Quebec immigration website. Also, uh, mention something about the translation of documents, what is accepted for immigration and English or French, affidavit and certified copies. So if you have any question about translation, uh, translating documents, then you have some guidance in this part. Also, it tell who can actually uh, translate uh, to be an authorized uh, person. And basically, most of the time in Canada, a notary public, a commission of oaths, and a commission of taking an affidavit uh, can actually do the affidavit. But outside of Canada, it has to be a, not a notary public. Okay? Certified through copies, again, information about documents, very important. Then we go to step two fill out the application um what the website uh, do very well is just to list all the forms that you're gonna need for the application some of them might apply some of them might not but most of them you will need to to use and then it, it give information about how complete and accurate you need to fill out the information you need to sign and date the application and you will be surprised how many people that try to do their application on their own forget to sign the documents or don't put a date and most of the time they just get rejected or they have to start the process again. So when it comes to filling out the forms, you need to take some time uh, in checking the details, review it three or four times, make sure there's nothing blank, every question is answered and if it's not applicable, just mark as not applicable but you need to make sure that those documents or forms have your signature and the day of the application, okay? And then the important thing is go through every major form in the list and start giving you hints on how to answer every question. So it's a very good guide for you. That's why it's important to have it. So that can help you prepare your forms in the, the right way from the beginning. So they have all the sample and explanations to fill out every form. If you continue scrolling down, you're gonna see also other forms. And then when once the forms are finished and you check all the information, then you go to step three. In step three, you're gonna have the pay the fees, the information how to play, uh, pay the fees, how to calculate your fees, and you have the a chart here about the fees for work permit. Uh, to to this day 155 and this permit for artists depending on every, every time a for permit open world permit so they have all the fees uh, chart here also they have the biometric fees per person 85 dollars for family 170 of two or more okay and then continue to give you more information about the fees what they including were overpayment every single scenario is going to be listed here and then finally submit the application that's when you have this information all right so take a look and uh, i hope you find this information useful i uh, will see you in the next lecture thank you very much